Hello, this is Tim Campbell with Action Coach Business Coaching. Today, I'm joined by Cindy Nix for our Survive and Thrive Business Spotlight interviews. Welcome, Cindy. It's great to have you join me today. Thanks. Glad to be here. Hey, as a reminder, the purpose of this Business Spotlight is to interview local business owners to help get the word out through my social channels and people in my email database. This is a free service I'm providing because my philosophy is if we save every business, we save the economy. So Cindy, tell me a little bit about yourself and your business. Okay. Um, my daughter and I started the cleaning company about 10 years ago. Uh, in the beginning, it was just Molly and me and we word of mouth. So 10 years later, there's about, 100 clients before the virus um, and now we have about 10 people that help us do the cleaning I don't I do very little cleaning anymore so that's awesome and I'm grateful for that um, I think we're unique in that um, we really care and anybody that I hire I almost look for a servant's heart more than I look for cleaning ability because I can teach them how to clean, but I just want them to really care because what we do is we really encourage people. I mean, who doesn't want to come home to a clean house after a long day at work? It's, it's encouraging. It is. Um, this morning I had to go clean a house, which is unusual. And the lady said, Oh, I want to hug you so bad <laughs> um, because she was so encouraged because she's been home for two months and had kids and dogs. And so, yeah, that's what I love. I love to encourage people. Fantastic. Wonderful. So uh, tell me again, how many years have you been in business? 10 years. Fantastic. Well, congratulations. Thanks. All right. So who do you serve? Um, really? Who is your best customer? We call that our target audience. Okay. Um, probably the people who have a house that's probably somewhere between um, 1,500 and 2,500 square feet. And they usually have two kids, dog, and they both work and they don't want to spend their weekends cleaning. So that's our sweet spot, probably. Wonderful. Thank you. So, how has. Um, the COVID crisis impacted your business? What's been the biggest impact of that? Well, it's interesting because um, I would say probably 40% of my business, and some of that's commercial because they actually closed, because um, we do small commercial as well. Um, and people are just scared, you know? Uh, so they canceled. Um, and that was kind of rough. Mm -hmm. um, but it's interesting, some of them, because they didn't want to hurt my business, uh, they kept paying me, oh, which wow. is phenomenal. And so I told them as soon as they come back, they get that first cleaning will be a really good one <laughs> mm -hmm. kind of thing to kind of reward them. I really appreciate that. Um, and we tried to immediately, like, I immediately... Um, Everything that normally would come out of my cash, I put on a credit card, so all the expenses, all the regular things that are reoccurring, I put on a credit card. I tightened up the budget as much as I could. I took a big cut in pay just so I could keep my girls going. Yeah. Um, and then I spent hours on the internet getting certified in special cleaning, doing all kinds of things. So I knew exactly the best way to help everybody and keep everybody safe. And I think we've done a really good job of that. Um, all my girls just really were supportive and willing to work, even though uh, it, in the beginning it was more scary. Um, I think now people have kind of adjusted. They know what they need to do to protect themselves. And I'm happy to say that no clients have had the virus, so I'm very grateful for that. Congratulations. Uh, but we, yeah, but we continue to do everything we can to keep everybody safe and try to honor that. I immediately, um, also, I immediately called all my clients, personally talked to them. It took me mm, five or six hours, but I wanted to make sure that I knew exactly what they wanted us to do, everything from if they want us to always take our shoes off, if they want us to, whatever it is, whatever would make them feel good. Mm -hmm. It's their house. We'll do what makes them feel good. Um, 
a lot of people didn't discontinue. They were fine. Mm -hmm. uh, but we still took precautions. You know, we tried to social distance and okay. tried to do things we could. We already do a lot of things that help with germ control. So a lot of it was just a natural thing. It wasn't that hard. Sure. So I think for the most part, I think it's going to be okay. I think we're going to make it. Then we got the PPP loan. Okay. So that'll keep us going for a while. And hopefully by then everybody will come back and we'll be good to go. Good. What would you say is the one or two things um, or actions that you took to make a difference and how are those working for you? Um, I think communication, um, calling everybody. And then I, um, I purchased constant contact. Um, and my new office manager is really good at that. So she sends out really nice updates. Um, and we even, uh, once we knew what the mayor wanted us to do, we sent out a constant contact so they could click on it, look for their first name to find out when their next rotation would be, if they want to come back. So that encouraged people to come back. Um, I think those were very helpful. Um, I also got a lot of really nice notes from people that said, hang in there. It's okay. So that was nice. That's great. So during these times, uh, as a business owner, we know we must think differently. Um, have you had to pivot a lot uh, in your business to be able to get through this time? Um, a little. I wouldn't say a lot because like I said, we already did a lot of things yeah. that already controlled germs. Mm -hmm. So, but like, for example, I had a client who was in Florida when all this happened and their house here was on the market. So they had lots of people coming in and looking at their house and touching things and, you know, so they wanted it disinfectant before they returned. So I researched to find out exactly the best way we could do it for them. And we went and did that so that they were good with all that. Now, I personally am not real big on some of the harsh disinfectants. Some of those I think are just as dangerous as the virus itself when you breathe all that stuff and put all that stuff in your home. So we did a little all natural more route and I explained that to my clients and I told them if they didn't like the all natural route then they could hire somebody else I'd be fine with that but that's just my personal opinion uh, because I believe that if you keep your immune system doing what it's supposed to do that'll actually protect you in the long run great well certainly as uh, businesses are starting to reopen uh, just as things were closing it's requiring uh, folks to think differently as well. So I, I am offering a reopening strategy session. That might be something we can talk about at a different time. It's a, a complimentary offer that I'm uh, giving to folks. So here's an interesting question. It has been said, uh, smart people learn from their mistakes and wise people learn from the mistakes of others. So what mistakes did you make along the way and how can other entrepreneurs learn from your experience? Okay, uh, I was not always realistic and I was not always brave. Those are my two problems. Uh, realistic in that I thought I was the only one who could do all of this. Uh, and that's unrealistic, it's not sustainable, okay? I was a mom who took care of six kids, so I thought, okay, I can juggle all this. And I did for a while. But in order to get to the next level, I had to be willing to give it and I tried to give like scheduling and stuff to somebody else one time and I did not do very well at it because as soon as I made a mistake, I brought it back. <laughs> so this time I hired an office manager and I really just gave it to her. And I spent a lot of time training her because you do have a lot of things in your head that you don't realize. So I got a lot of things on paper. She helped me put down a lot of notes, you know, everything from, Mr. Bade, you can never clean in the afternoon because he takes a nap, you know? You just have to figure all that out. So um, the other thing, I wasn't always brave because I am really cheap. Uh, 
<laughs> so I don't like to spend money on things. And I've always been real good at um, getting referrals just from word of mouth. So I've never really done any advertising till this year. I was kind of pushed to do that. So I'm trying to get better at that because I'm not very brave. I don't like spending money. I'm really cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. Well, awesome. Second to last question. Uh, we have your email and website and phone number to include in this post that I'm going to do. Uh, anything we should add, like a special offer? Right now, um, if you, uh, new cl clients get a free uh, microfiber testing um, dusting kit, which I love. That's free to them. It's probably worth about $45. And then um, if you refer somebody else, you get 20% off your next cleaning. Okay. And all my regular clients, we just started this, all my regular clients, because I wanted to reward all the regular people that stayed with me, mm -hmm. all my regular clients um, get uh, a really big discount on their cleaning that's the closest to their birthday. So. Okay, fantastic. Well, thank you for sharing that offer. All right, last question here. Tell me what is most inspiring to you today. I was really moved by all the clients that were willing to pay us even though we weren't cleaning. Yeah. It made me cry. I just thought that was so sweet. They were so worried that we wouldn't be able to keep going. And blessing. I really appreciated that. And I personally sent them thank you notes and I called them uh, when I got the PP money and said, look, I got the money now, so we're good. We'll see how this goes kind of thing. So that was really sweet. I really well, appreciate it. That is such a blessing, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Cindy, thank you so much for uh, giving me your time today to learn a little bit more about yourself and your business. I'm going to be posting this interview on my social media sites. I will tag you on that. I'm also going to okay. be sending a link uh, to it in my weekly newsletters. Um, I'd also like to invite you to attend uh, one of my upcoming uh, strategy sessions to help uh, you get prepared for this uh, reopening of the economy and that uh, strategy session is free. So we can talk about that offline. I uh, really appreciate your time today, Cindy, and hope Thanks. wish you a wonderful day. Thank you. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh -huh.